This is Big Trust Vlogcast. Hey, don't call it no podcast. Yeah, yeah, this is Big Trust Vlogcast. Hey, don't call it no podcast. Yeah, yeah, this is Big Trust Vlogcast. Hey, don't call it no podcast. Yeah, yeah, this is Big Trust Vlogcast. Hey, don't call it no podcast. Yeah. yeah. What up? What's happening? What it do? It's your boy Big Trail. Big Trails Vlogcast. Give yourself a round of applause, please. <laughs> Clap for yourself. Be your number one cheerleader. All right, we're going to get right into this video. This is from a YouTube channel called Viral Crimes. Viral Crimes. Um, the title is called, He Let His Homeless Friend Move In and He Killed His Girlfriend and Daughter. Good gosh. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. There you go. Death. Like, who's not scared of death? A lot of y'all. Start that over. What's your biggest that fear? Death. Like, who's not scared of death? A lot of y'all are probably not scared of death, but I'm scared as fuck to die. Cause like, worse, I have a kid. Like, nobody gonna love her like me. Nobody gonna look out for her like me. So, we lose a child mm. and a grandchild. Come on, she's a baby. She's a baby. That is truly that uh, is an crazy. evil person, and you know whoever did that is gonna have to Coco pay Beast, for they, those, This is Florida uh, for those crimes. This is the story of Masanya Malcolm, a 20-year-old who is excited Florida. about life and embarking on a new journey as a social media influencer. Masanya lived in a one-bedroom apartment with her boyfriend and one-year-old daughter. One day, Masanya's boyfriend, Jordan Reed, decided to help out an old friend from Jamaica who was homeless, allowing him to move in with him and his family. Little did he know, this would turn out Damn. to be a tragic mistake that would leave his girlfriend and daughter dead, and him, fighting for his life. That's what would crazy. make someone turn on the only people who were willing to help him? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Orlando, Florida. Masanya Malcolm, at the cusp of her 20s, was already buzzing on the social media scene, making a name for herself by providing a window into her life online. Okay, so right. I'm gonna go ahead and spice this up a little. Mm -hmm. This is like a lingerie where you wear to bed. And we have to sex it up sometime with your boyfriend or your girlfriend wake up to something nice. I'm not sure how you're gonna feel about this one. Mm -hmm. Babe, how much you rate this? Darling. Mm -hmm. You don't like it? You don't like it at all? Yeah, I'm here, man. But I'm here, I'm here. What is? She would upload videos about a relationship, share her latest shopping finds, share her childbirth experience, and film the routine happenings that made up her day. Her boyfriend made. This story is already sad, like. She died and her and her daughter died. Like the kid, what did the kid have to do? The kid has no threat to you. The, there's no excuse. There's no excuse to kill anybody for no reason, you know, unless self-defense. But there's no excuse. There's absolutely no excuse to kill a, kill a baby. Like, what are you thinking? And made frequent appearances and subscribers got to witness the love the couple had for one another. I'm gonna be doing a prank on Sina. He's currently out right well. I was here bored and my girlfriend gave me the idea to prank him that I'm pregnant. And as a testament from the previous pregnancy with Carly, I have three of them. I'm just gonna lay them out. So when he walk in, he gonna look at it and be like, I want this be a while. Wow. I think he gonna be like, I want prank you doing our let me see your phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come here. Top mm. free. Yeah, he was he was definitely scared. Yeah, 
The couple were parents to a one-year-old daughter, Jordania, and they lived in a one-bedroom apartment. And today, we'll be doing a story time on how we met slash a little cooking vlog. We'll be cooking a shrimp chicken. Chicken. Shrimp, shrimp uh, chicken. chicken. What's wrong with him? Is he pranking her? No. Uh -uh. no. So normally, What's the first thing we do when we are, when we are cook um, chicken, curry chicken? First thing I do. Yeah, what's the first thing we do when we cooking? Um, I must cut up the meat. My first thing I do. Okay, so cut up the meat. Who cut up the meat? Me? Yeah, me cut up the meat. All right, me cut up the meat. All right. While he's doing that, guys, I'm gonna be starting the story time on how we met. One day, Masanya's boyfriend got a message on social media from a man named Dujon Griffiths. This was an old friend from his school days back in Jamaica. Yeah. The two reconnected and Dujon came to the United States on a visitor's visa and started living with Jordan, his girlfriend, and their one-year-old daughter. Masanya's mom, Latoya, raised an eyebrow at this unexpected house guest. Uh. She didn't hold back and questioned her daughter's boyfriend about the decision to bring another guy into their limited living space, with a baby to think about too. His response was that he knows- Yeah, he, he figured this is his boy. Uh, I know they were in a one bedroom apartment, but he figured, he was like, man, this is my boy, I gotta I got help him out. I'm sure that's his, his mind state. It's what it feels like to be homeless, so he's gonna help him. But his time ticked on. But sometimes you gotta think about your family too. You gotta think, man. Ain't no room. Ain't no room. I got a baby in here. Um, I don't know if you, how long you you haven't seen him, but people change, and you know, are you comfortable with him around your baby? On Do John's presence in the home began to stir up some tension. Masanya's patience had worn thin because Do John wasn't pitching in financially with the rent or bills during his time with them. Yeah. He wasn't contributing at all to the household. She felt it was time for him to go, so her boyfriend decided to take matters into his own hands, offering to drop Dujon off at a Greyhound bus station and even purchasing his ticket for him. Masanya, with their baby sitting in her lap, took the seat beside her boyfriend as they started their journey. However, in a terrifying turn of events, Dujon, seated behind them, opened fire on the father as he was about to drive away from their parking Dang. spot outside their apartment at Lake Heritage Circle. That Anakin is crazy. Seed, when the father, in an instinctive bid for survival, abandoned the vehicle, only to be chased by a relentless Dujon who kept firing shots. The aftermath was grim and shocking. That's crazy. Startled by the boyfriend's cries for help, a neighbor quickly dialed 911. The deputies from Orange County who arrived on the scene found Reed, injured, and hidden behind some shrubbery, suffering from numerous gunshot wounds. The first thing he said to deputies is my friend shot me. Despite his serious injuries, the boyfriend tried desperately to tell the deputies about the terrifying events that had unfolded, but found himself physically unable to speak further. On the 9th of September, after the boyfriend had been through surgery, he was finally able to scribble out the name of the assailant and gave a significant nod when investigators inquired whether Masanya had been a victim of the shooting as well. Wow. With the confirmation that Masanya was nowhere to be found in her residence, the investigation took an interesting oh, turn. Using the GPS system, the officials were able to track down the boyfriend's vehicle, Volkswagen Jetta owned by his mother. The car was found turned off in a parking lot on Lake Eleanor Drive, not too far, just about a mile from where the couple lived. They found Masanya lifeless in the vehicle. Masanya's body was positioned in the passenger seat, while the baby's body was found in the floorboard. Investigators wow. pieced together that after the initial chaos, Du John took the car, with Masanya and little Jordania still inside. It's believed that he mercilessly turned the gun on Masanya while they were in the car, then coldly disposed of the vehicle in a different location before making his escape on foot. He left behind a harrowing scene. Masanya's lifeless body and the baby, abandoned. The autopsy later confirmed the worst fears. Masanya had succumbed to multiple gunshot wounds in the face and body, wow. her death officially declared a homicide. Dang. Tragically, Jordania too was found with minor injuries, and it was suspected that the helpless infant crawled to her mother and unable to get help, succumbed to the sweltering heat following the heartless act. Jeez. The manhunt for a potential murderer, the tip that led deputies to a tragic scene in Orange County, and what they believe happened to a woman and her young daughter. The sheriff's office says it has a person of interest in their deaths, but he... Man, 
like I don't know how long it was. Like they were schoolmates, but I don't know how long it was since they actually hung around each other. And because you can tell a lot by hanging around each other, not just phone calls and things like that. People change over the years. Man, I'm just thinking about that baby. That's that's oh that's crazy. Let's continue. But he is also linked to another shooting. And it goes to show you, you're not going to know everybody. Uh, you're not going to know everybody's intent. You think you knew somebody back in the day. That's why I keep bringing this up. Back in the day, knowing somebody from high school was way different than knowing somebody 10 years down the road and running into them. You think they, they, they're the same person, they have the same character. When life happens to them, it makes them change, right? And, uh, okay. I know I'm... I'm kind of, I don't want to confuse anybody. Investigators say that the mother was found dead in a vehicle inside this parking lot alongside her young daughter. The sheriff saying the search is on for their killer. This suspect allegedly left uh, that baby to die in that car. Orange County Sheriff John Mina saying one-year-old Jordania was found dead inside this vehicle along with her mother, 20-year-old Masanya Malcolm Thursday afternoon. Mina says Masanya died from multiple gunshot wounds. We don't have a cause of death on the infant, Jordania, but we believe um, it may have been from the heat of the vehicle, but that still has to be determined. Mm -hmm. Two days prior, Orange County investigators say on Tuesday morning, they responded to a shooting in the 1900 block of Lake Heritage Circle. The male victim told deputies a friend shot him before the victim was rushed into surgery. Once he regained consciousness, Sheriff Mina says he told them his friend, 21-year-old Dejon Dwayne Griffiths, shot him and may have shot his girlfriend, who was also inside the car at the time was just with his young daughter. The sheriff's office says it's issued a warrant for Griffiths' arrest for attempted murder and a person of interest in the deaths of Malcolm and her daughter. It's disgusting. Um, that is truly... Uh, an evil person and you know whoever did that is going to have to pay for those uh. because they wanted him out of the house because you wasn't paying bills you probably wasn't looking for work you weren't trying to find a job or anything you weren't contributing if you were out there i can see if you was out there hustling bringing in some money to help with groceries or something you didn't do nothing and then you your feelings get hurt because they you know they, keep, they want you out. But they bought you a bus ticket. Dang. Uh, for those crimes. Sheriff Mina also says it's believed that Griffiths lived with the victims and he shot the couple over an argument regarding him moving out. In a determined effort to bring a fugitive to justice, law enforcement circulated pictures of the suspect, Du John, through various media channels. They hoped that public vigilance could aid in pinpointing his location. However, as time marched on, two long years slipped by without a single lead. Man. During this time, arrest warrants for Du John were out in the open, signaling a nationwide manhunt. As deputies searched for Du John Griffiths, Latoya mourned the death of her daughter, yeah. Masanya Malcolm, and her one-year-old granddaughter. I came here because I wanted a better life. I didn't come here to bury my kids. I didn't, she said. Masanya's mother Latoya was devastated at the news of her daughter's passing. Her daughter and granddaughter were her best friends. Look who showed up at my doorstep. Look who surprised me. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. You meet your mommy. You meet your mommy. She just come and go light up for me. Oh, God. <laughs> you miss your mommy? Do, do, do. Come on, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. La, 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 la. <laughs> Whoa. Man. You couldn't wait for your laugh to come. <laughs> oh my God. Latoya described hey, the harrowing last moments of her granddaughter with a heavy heart. She crawled on her mom and was there till she passed. She tried to wake her mom up, she said. They left her in the car for so many days, she said. Her voice a raw mixture of grief and disbelief. For years, the case went unsolved. Even Did they say how many days it was in between the shooting and them finding the car? Uh, I think I might have missed that. Comment down below for me if you if you heard that or did they say it at all? 
Even though officials offered rewards for information about Du Zhan and said they received many tips about his whereabouts, they were never able to track him down. Then after two years, investigators finally got a break in the case, when a routine traffic stop by police officers in Linden, New Jersey, evolved into a significant arrest. Mm. Du John, the man responsible for the murder of Masanya, the attempted murder of her boyfriend, and the death of their one-year-old daughter, was apprehended on the strength of those murder warrants that had hung in the air for so long, hey. closing a critical chapter in this lengthy investigation. He was extradited to Orange County to finally face justice for the September 2021 deaths of Masanya and Jordania. Dujon Griffith stood before an Orange County judge this morning. In Crazy, 2021 man. CF 12327, you've been arrested on a warrant for the charge of first degree premeditated murder. The judge said Griffiths would stay behind bars for now. In this case, I am going to stay bond at none. The families of the victims in this case have been waiting more than two years for justice and now may be a step closer to getting it. Latoya Reed is the mother and grandmother of two of the victims, Masania Malcolm and her daughter Jordania. I have nothing to say to Doja and Dwayne Griffiths. I'm not in the place where I have forgiven Doja. I'm still in the grieving process yeah. as we speak. I'm still angry. I was robbed i was robbed by somebody i thought was a friend no matter mm. how many years have passed we never forget our victims and we hope this never. arrest brings some sense of peace and closure to our community and the two families shattered by this horribly tragic case said the orange county sheriff's office lasagna's mother was relieved to know that her daughter and granddaughter's killer was finally arrested family, friends, and supporters, and well-wishers. Today, March 22nd, 2024. Wow. I'm coming live to let you know that. That was well over two years. The police has incarcerated Dujan Dewey Griffiths. Dujan Dewey Griffiths is in custody. Me wall do John. Me wall do John. Mm. That's, man, that's sad. Me wall do John. Me wall do John. Me wall do John. Me wall do John. The heartbreaking events mm. that unfolded for Miss Sonia Malcolm, her boyfriend, and their young daughter should have never happened. Their lives were abruptly taken by someone they had opened their home to, a gesture of kindness that was met with the most severe betrayal. And the, the father of the, the kid, the boyfriend, he's going to be, I know he's beating himself up, man. Like, we haven't seen anything after this. I don't know, is is he able to speak? Is he able to walk? Like, what what's going on with him? Because they said, um, they said, the news reporter said that this person may have lived with them but if the boyfriend was able to speak he would have told him that right so i don't i don't know if he's able to speak or, or what's going on with him but there was no update on him at least thus far their tragic story brings to the forefront the caution we must exercise when opening our doors to others well the instinct to aid a friend in need is yeah. a noble one it's a grim reality that people change over time the friend from school days may not be the same person exactly. today Life's trials and the paths chosen can alter individuals in unforeseen ways. So, as we reach That's out with a helping saying. hand, it becomes essential to take steps to safeguard our personal spaces and those we love. Masanya's boyfriend did what many would admire, he offered a helping hand to someone who appeared to be in a desperate situation. The couple's actions were led by compassion, a testament to their character and humanity. For that, they should be remembered with respect. The sole bearer of blame for this tragedy is Du John, whose actions were unjustifiable, mm. and who exploited the goodwill extended to him. The Sonya's mother and boyfriend are attempting to heal together, and each year they celebrate the heavenly birthdays of their lost loved ones. Happy heavenly birthday, Carla Shea! We love you and we miss you we so much! You. Huh? In our condolences, we honor the memory of Masanya and her family, reflecting on their kindness <laughs> and mourning the lives Cute lost in an unspeakable too. act.
May their story serve as a reminder of both the endless capacity for human kindness and the need for careful consideration of those we choose to reintegrate into our personal lives. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh man. That's it's crazy. Whenever I see kids in these videos, I I say it in all my videos. I think of my grandkids, I think of my young nieces and nephews. The story is tragic because you try to help a friend. And this just goes to show that um you you may know somebody at one point you know them, but if somebody if you're trying to help somebody and they're really down and out if they if they have it that bad just think about it like this uh if they have it that bad to where they were homeless they were fighting for survival they were doing this they were doing doing whatever they needed to to survive doing what was necessary they're probably going to do that when they get into your house they're probably going to have that same mentality you know stuff might come up missing a couple of dollars you had on your counter might come up missing things like that so if they if that's their mentality it's going to be hard to change and i don't think moving somebody in your house who's like that because that even happens with family people will move family members in who who are struggling and next thing you know they're at conflict because the person who's struggling is doing all this shisty stuff so i'm just saying you gotta you gotta really vet really pray on it really think about who you're letting inside your house all right now if it's a friend who got in an argument with their their wife or their you know or their husband or whatever and, and they need to sleep on the couch for a day that's different but if it's somebody that you knew back in high school you run into them this man's homeless this woman's homeless and you're like oh man you know you were cool back in the day come on in that might be the wrong thing to do because they have a different totally different mindset so just keep yourself safe keep your family safe right and vet and really pray on who you're letting inside your house all right don't be afraid to say no either do not be afraid to say no all right we're gonna get out of here this your boy big trail sad 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 story big trails broadcast let's get it Giddy!